In this video, we're going to talk about what it means for two statements to be equivalent. Two statements, phi and psi, are equivalent when they are always both true or both false. And in that case, we write something like this saying phi is equivalent to psi using an equal sign with three bars. Uh, just like with rules of inference, we can prove equivalences using either truth tables or more verbal arguments. Let's start with the truth table. Let's prove, this is called distribution, that P or Q and R is equivalent to the statement P and R or Q and R. So as usual, we have eight rows for three letters. True, 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 false, 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 false. True, true, false, false, true, true, false, false true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. For reasons of uh, needing more space on the screen in the video, I'm going to show you a different way to do truth tables. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of take just one column for the statement and work from the inside out. So I'm going to make a column for P or Q, and I'll do that in blue, and then I'll compare that to the column for R, which is already in pink on the left. So P or Q is true when one of P or Q is true. And notice that happens in rows one through six. So we're going to have true, 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 false, false. And then R, just copying and pasting from its column, is true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. So the conjunction of those two statements is true uh, when both statements are true. So true and true makes true, true and false makes false, true and true makes true, false, true, false, false, false. And so this conjunctions column here, this is the main connective of the statement, so this is what we're going to be comparing to the other statement. All right, likewise, uh, we'll have P and R in blue, and I suppose we'll have uh, Q and R in also blue so that I can save green for the disjunction. So the statement P and R is true in the first row and also in the third row. And everywhere else, one of them is false. Fourth row, fifth row, six, seven, eight. Q and R is true in the first row, and also the fifth row, and false everywhere else. Of course, you should pause the video to check these for yourself if you're unsure. And our main connective, this disjunction, is going to be true as long as one of the blue statements is true. So that's in the first row, second or sorry, that's the third row, uh, fifth row, and no others. So false in the second, false in the fourth, false in the sixth, seventh, and eighth. And observe that the patterns of trues and falses are the same in both of the highlighted green columns. So therefore, these two statements are equivalent, showing that you can kind of distribute the and r over the p and the q, and you get p n r or q n r. Now let's see an example of a verbal proof of equality, so of equivalence. So we're going to have De Morgan's law, which is the equivalence that if you negate a disjunction, you get a conjunction where both of the conjuncts are negated. That's this rule right here. And we're also going to use material implication, which is the equivalence that uh, if if P then Q is true, then that's the same as saying that Q is true or P isn't. So that's the statement right here. I'm going to include in the description to the video a resource where you can kind of see all of the basic equivalences together, but for right now we'll just take these two on faith. And then finally, we want to use these two equivalences to prove a third equivalence, which is the equivalence of the false conditional, namely that if I take a conditional and negate it, I'm going to get P and not Q. And the first thing I want you to notice is that this actually makes perfect sense if you think about the truth table. When is if P then Q false is exactly when p is true and q isn't. Okay, so let's do this proof now. So I'm going to start with the statement, the negation of if p then q, uh, and I want to take this and I want to show that it's the same as p and not q. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply material implication on the inside. So I'll have the negation of the negation of P or Q. That's from material implication. And then I'm going to use De Morgan's law to negate this disjunction. So I have the negation of the negation of P and the negation of Q. That's De Morgan's. And I, I sort of lied a little bit. I didn't list one of the rules we're going to need, but it's also the easiest rule in the game. It's double negation, right? If I negate a negation, I get back the original statement. So that's going to be P and not Q. And so we're done. Those two statements are equivalent.